Right. Max, oh. Maxi K guys back, and we have um, a room for batteries. Cool. So, shall I start working on lava gen? That sounds a good plan. I've nearly automated at least some of the smeltery. Oh, I don't think we can make lava generators. That sucks. I don't know. You can go look up the recipe and it pulls up uh, information. Oh. Not efficient as other forms of lava power generating. Lava fabricator, lava stone. So, yeah. Where are the glass bottles? Well, we need the automated lava generation for smelter anyway. We need to make this bigger. You've got the glass bottles on you, Chris. I do. I have the glass bottles. Thank you. You're welcome. Right, so, so we can't do that kind of lava gen. We should just, uh, let's see. Energy cell. Wait, do we have like, nope, okay. Uh, I'm trying to think. Why do we have this ME chest, by the way? Uh, we needed it for a quest. What can we put in that chest? Uh, not a lot at the moment, because we need ME to actually power the thing. Oh, okay. Okay, I've sort of automated the smeltery. Okay. Basically, can put we, a hopper on the thing. Can we make electrum? Uh, yes. Easily. Oh, okay. Why? What do we need electrum for? Electrum power cells. If we can make electrum power cells, then we wouldn't have. Then I could just put a load of generators pumping into an electron power cell and then just run that into whatever power cells or generators we need. Yeah, um, electrum is gold and silver just mixed together. Alright. 
Let's work on that. I'm smelting up silver at the moment. Awesome. Uh, three gold though. Three gold there. True. Oh wait, then what we need one, two, three, four. Uh five, six, seven electron bars. And it's one to one, isn't it? So three gold would be six. So No, because that's gold ore. There's two electron blend here. Yeah, if oh that'll double, wouldn't it? That'll double. Double bubble, and there's two election blend here anyway. All right, awesome. What well, do you want to just chuck it into that hopper? No, I'm going to see if I can't extend the. Uh... <clears throat> We've only got six seed bricks. Wait. Because I think. Oh, how much clay do you have? Uh, I put it all in a chest. Ten clay. I'm wondering. I'm going to look at this recipe again online and see that it's impossible to get, isn't it? Yep. Okay, so the only way we're going to get extra seed bricks is to um, yeah, crap. Okay. So we need to go over there again. Well, you have fun with that. If you find my body, let me know. <sighs> well, we have a small tree, so I'm not leaving without better weapons. Put it that way. Swords can I make? Copper is damage two, pig iron is damage three, cyanide is damage one, steel, molten steel. Um, I think steel would be a good way to go because that's definitely one we can do. Uh, Alamite is obsidian, which we don't have. Bronze is damage three. How do we get steel? We just took steel ignits in the smeltery and we can get them by using the pressure chamber. But an iron knife is free damage as well. Iron sword blade is free. Paper is damage one. Cobalt we can't do. Ardite? Can we do Ardite? Ardite. No. It's no, just Ardite. It's just Ardite. That's, yeah, our die ore. Okay, so we can't do that. Steel sword blade is damage three. Bronze sword blade is damage three. And bronze is copper and tin. What do you reckon? If an iron sword blade is three damage, then we might as well just make iron swords. Yeah. There's no point making it more complicated than it needs to be. Okay, I'm going to take these silver ores out then. Ah, what are you doing? You've automated it. Told you I had. Son of a biscuit. Uh, copper, iron. I'm going to run this iron through first because we need it. Want me to leave it in there? Uh, yeah, disable that for a second because I'm going to need to make things. Uh, chop me some glass bottles, would you? Just throwing them in a chest over here. Yep. Here you go. Alright. Uh, 
And whoop de whoop de whoop de whoop de whoop. You want me to make you a couple of sword blades, Chris? Um, just the one, please, sir. Hey, on live, how's it going? Have you made one? No, the iron's not melted yet. Oh, it's going to be a while. Okay, let's consult the book again, because they say, an upgrade to the smelt we will get double the number of ingots you get from one gravel. I'm alright, I'm alive. Uh, also, unlike the smelt tree, it will also smelt cobble into seared stone, allowing to make as many more seared and scorched bricks as you need. High oven runs on charcoal, of course, with all the trees you have been chopping down to get water, you should also have a surplus of logs. Also, if you want the guidebook, the Tinker Steelworks, place what you in the union casting table and pour seared stone over it. So how do we make a scorched duct? And a scorched drain? I think it's all scorched bricks. Same deal, hit them with a hammer. Because I picked up some of those. It would be, wouldn't it? I just hit them with a hammer. Yeah. Must be. All right. There we go. Hey John, do you want to automate that charcoal? Automated charcoal, I think I can handle that. Although this isn't cutting that tree down, I don't know why. Is it back stuff somewhere? Oh, you just turned it off. Awesome. Look at it go! Scorched duct input output for hoppers. So what we need to make? Scorched duct and scorched drain, which I'm guessing Scorched drain is basically two lines down either side. One drain and one duct. Job jobbed, sir. Hand that chest in. Get those sixty four bricks. Oh wait. If you need to place a temporary store. If you need a place to temporarily store molten metal until you can cast into blocks or this is to take it. Not only does it store quite a lot, but it also not it will also not create alloys. Ah. Yeah, that's the advantage of the deep tank element. controller. Deep tank. Oh, that's easy. That's just some lappies in the middle. It's awesome. I have lappies. It's a good thing I picked up those things, not thinking what they were. And can we make a planter yet? Uh, yes. Um, you can hand in the quest uh, triple play now. I've got bricks. If you build your technological infrastructure, hey John. John. Oh. 
John. <laughs> I like it. This is where it is your time to shine, my boy. <laughs> so are these bricks, or I just like cook them, I suppose, and they turn into seared bricks, yeah? No. Or scorched bricks. Yeah, well, I, look, I look this up. You have to uh, pop them in a liquid casting table with seared stone. Oh, that's easy. Isn't seared stone, that's just cobble, isn't it? It's grout. Oh. Or... Seared bricks, yeah? Any form of seared brick, yeah. Okay, I guess I'm going over there again. Do you want that sword? Hang on. Sword blade's in the chest for you. I have two sword blades. You can melt them down again if you want. I have ten scorched brick, but... Okay, so... Iron sword blade... Um... Wondering if it's worth my oh I could swap a tool rod out later so I can make it out of whatever I want. So if I just make it out of a stick. Uh do we have enough for some paper? Where do I put those fluid ducks? And paper. Did you want me to make you a sword, John? No, or at least. No, you got that? Okay, cool. I think I can do a sword. Uh, I need a white guard and some paper. Oh, valid materials, stone, obsidian, or never rack. No extra material for me then. Fair enough. Uh, stone it is. Well, that's me being silly. Okay, Can I be used to make cast? Can I be used to make a tool? Oh. Oh. Right, so we can't just use that. We have to cast these as well. Do you have... Uh... The glass bottles, I need to refill my camel pack. Uh, I do. 